So this is uh, showing off my new uh, remote front end for a Uniden BCT15X scanner. And this is using a Dell Axum uh, X50V. So it's uh, got the Windows Mobile 6 OS upgrade on it. And as you can see here, uh, right now the scanner is turned off and so it's showing disconnected and it's scanning for the uh, scanner. I have a uh, it's really dark in here so it's hard to see but I have a uh, serial port uh, adapter and that gives it both power and serial to the uh, scanner and so we'll go ahead and turn the scanner on and kinda show you some of the uh, functions here. Stood by to give us a clear operating frequency. We also thank the Amateur Radio Relay Group Inc. for the use of their very fine repeater. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume down here. So the, uh, the volume here is adjusted with the uh, four-way button on the thing, and you can see uh, you can see the volume changing up and down. Uh, right left does our squelch and then the uh, the middle button actually provides a mute functionality so we drop the volume to zero and then we, uh, so zero and then back to whatever the uh, previous volume was uh, just a quick mute, mute uh, functionality uh, as we can see, all the buttons work here, so we're on this channel here, we hit uh, lockout, and we get the temporary lockout. Um, we can use the button here to turn on or turn off individual uh, banks. We have the uh, scan up, scan down. And there we see a bug in the code. There's a uh, known serial port driver bug in the uh, .NET code. And so uh, we great feature every now and then that bug crops up. The serial comms uh, gets an error and we kick out. Uh, so something we just saw right there then is we have this, instead of using the um, uh, light function on the scanner, which would normally turn the, uh, dim the lights on the scanner itself, uh, this changes the uh, color uh, in the program. Uh, there's a lot of glare during the day and so this uh, white uh, gives a better uh, contrast for use during the day. Uh, you can see all the functions work. If we go into menu, uh, we have our uh, our actual scanner menu. And so we can uh, operate all the functions of the scanner uh, from uh, this uh, remote device here. And the scanner can be then placed anywhere that you can run the uh, serial link to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, post the source code for this on uh, GitHub. And then I also have a uh, version that's just a, a simple Windows program. It uses the same source code, uh, but just the GUI is different, and, I, and I've been using that for development. So if somebody wants to download that code and use it or uh, add their own features, I have added. Hopefully, uh, I know this is kind of a old handheld technology, but hopefully it will be useful to somebody.